In this video, you're going to learn how to configure redundant internet connections from two ISPs on your FortiGate. Having two redundant internet connections can improve the reliability of your network by maintaining internet access in the event that one connection fails. The FortiGate's equal cost multipath load balancing failover detection can detect when a connection goes down and redirect traffic to the active connection. A redundant configuration requires redundant routing and policies. In this example, the redundant routes are supplied by the ISPs through DHCP. For this video, we're going to assume the two internet connections are connected to WAN1 and WAN2 and that both ISPs use DHCP to configure their customers' networks. Go to the network interface page and ensure both interfaces are up and connected. Next, go to the Policies page and create two redundant security policies, one for each ISP. The first policy will be internal to WAN1. The second will be internal to WAN2, with all other settings allowing all traffic as normal. Next, configure Equal Cost Multipath ECMP. Go to Router, Static, Settings, and create two new dead gateway detection entries, one for each WAN interface. Set the ping intervals and failover thresholds for each one to smaller values if you want a more immediate reaction to a connection failure. At the top, under ECMP Load Balancing Method, Select Spillover. Set WAN1 and WAN2 to the same value. To see the results, go to the Forward Traffic Log to see traffic from different source IPs passing through both WAN1 and WAN2. You can also check the Policy Monitor to see the traffic distributed between the two policies. Disconnect your WAN1 port on the FortiGate and you will see all traffic redirected to the WAN2 connection. Reconnect it, and the traffic will begin to flow again. Thank you for watching. If you need further details, you can visit docs.fortinet.com at any time to access Fortinet's complete documentation library.